Hello everyone, it's Glenda and my sister Laurie. Welcome to my channel, Creative Grandma. I hope everyone is having a happy crochet or knitting day. Well, today's a great video because my sister's gonna help me with this yarn unboxing. So pick up that box. Should I move this first out of the way? Because this is a big box. <laughs> Ugh, it's not really Ugh. that Ugh. big. It's big. It's not that big. It is big. So we have a premiere yarn order to unbox today. Let's go ahead and sit it over there. You made me do all that work? I had to emphasize oh. premiere yarns. <laughs> it's spelled P-R-E-M-I-E-R. Premiere. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I could have just told them that. It's kind of like being, what, five years old and... <laughs> So I had some ideas in mind from Premiere and I was on their website and I'd like to go on the websites of yarn companies and I like to just go down through all the yarns and kind of try to get ideas based on what I'm seeing their new patterns are and what the yarns are and the different colorways. And you want to go ahead and open the box. Now I do have a shawl pattern here that I'm working on. Let's start with the shawl. I'll, I'll have you just do everything. <laughs> Will you make up your mind? Well, this is laying here. I can get it out of the way. I'll take a nap while she's <laughs> figuring out what she's doing. <laughs> so I wanted to make something quick and easy, but I wanted a yarn that I would feel warm because you know how I have been really grumpy lately with the rain. Oh, that's an understatement. <laughs> I, I took my mom to the doctor's. And it was one of those days where it would rain and then the sun would come out. So when I got her to the doctor's office, it rained from the time I opened my car door and had to walk her to the doctor's. So then we got that done and then I took her out to eat. Well, when I pulled in the parking lot, it rained on me from the car to the restaurant. <laughs> it did rain when I was coming out and then it stopped raining. And then I had to go to the bank. So it started raining right when I had to get out and go in the bank stopped raining went to the grocery store and then it rained and she says go get your hummer and drive it up and i'll i'll just get in so i had to walk all the way to the end of the parking lot got soaking wet <laughs> and the same thing happened today i wanted some flowers i said it's not going to rain for three hours get me up there we got halfway up there and it rained on me while i was trying to get my flowers got in the car headed home the sun come out that's just the kind of day. So I thought I'm going to make myself a shawl because I don't like getting wet and cold. And with the damp weather, I get the chills. So I picked this beautiful Premier cotton yarn. And this is, this is my new shawl I'm making. Hold that up. Can they see it in the, the finder? Because do you want to show the other side? Are you showing well, the side where you have your... It's reversible. Well, that's my end. That's how I keep track of how many skeins I'm using. Oh. I wanted to do it with two skeins, but it's taking three. And I forgot to bring the yarn up of the colorway I'm using. But it's the Premier Puzzle Cotton. And it's the pink with the yellow. The pink with the gold. It is pretty. I, I showed it in my other video. Yeah, it's, it's a simple pattern. And I like it oversized because I'm a big woman. So this tutorial will be coming soon. I'm almost done with my second skein. And I think I'm going to have to break into a third ball. And I was trying not to do that. But I'd rather make it the way I like it and have that extra ball of yarn. So if you think you might want to make a shawl like this, then you can look at all the different colorways available in that Premier Puzzle Cotton. Now remember, it's the Premier Puzzle Cotton and not the Premier Puzzle. They're two separate yarns. Don't take this away yet. I want to make a comment. Oh, okay, make your comment, but I don't want no. to lose my instructions. Do you know why I like this shawl? Some of the shawls that we have found like at the thrift stores or others have been made, they're so thin. You put the shawl on. This is nice. It's not heavy, it's, but it's, it's going to take the chill away. That's yeah. what I wanted. I wanted I something. Like, I like this. Yes, I wanted something cozy. And I was thinking about putting buttons. Now don't lose like, your instructions. I was thinking about putting one or two buttons. So, Ooh. so yeah, see, it needs to be a little bit bigger. And it doesn't go clear around your neck like but that. I, it goes oh, like, yeah. No, I like it. I like it up around the neck. 
but I, that's that's I, how I like it. I was thinking about putting like two buttons right here at the chest area. Oh, that would be pretty. Because when I'm working and I throw a shawl around me, I'm sitting there and when I'm working or yeah. something, it seems like it wants to fall off my shoulders. So that's why I think I'm going to add maybe two buttons to the top so you can button it. And that's optional. I just I just love this color. One. I do too. I like I'm a pinky. I like and pink. it and it's just it's a cozy yarn. Very okay. cozy. Very nice. Okay, now I'm going to put that up so I don't lose my instructions because okay. then it will never get finished. So let There's me, your instructions. Okay, put that in a that safe away. place. So why don't you go ahead and grab in the box and just grab one of the yarns in there. Okay, now she said just grab. She said don't peek. No, I didn't say don't peek. I said you, just no, grab. No, you said grab, so I'm grabbing. Oh, Ooh, good. no way, it's pink. <laughs> it's pink and it's got a little bit of green oh this is pretty I, i'm going through my pink phase Aww. and i'll tell you why i chose this yarn i'm gonna let her open that up take one out of the wrapper and explain the yarn to him tell him hand me those scissors over there use your fingers Oh, it's very here. Just go like this. I'm not fussy. Just rip that open. Very easy now, to see, do. See, I would have opened it nicely so you can no, tape it shut. I'm going to be using it. Oh, she's going to be using <laughs> it. Okay, so you want me to tell them what yeah, it is? Yeah, kind of hold it up to the camera so they can see it a little bit better. It's called the Premier Cotton Fair Bulky Prints. Now this just came out not too long ago, and I can't wait to show you the free pattern on Premier's website. Go ahead and tell them about the yarn. Okay, it's a Premier Cotton Fair Bulky Prints. It's 130 yards 119 millimeters meters meters <laughs> three ounce 85 gram it's 52 percent cotton and 48 percent acrylic now how do you what does it feel like to you well it, it's not it's soft but yet it, it's not baby soft you know what i mean it's just it's it's nice it's kind of the cotton and the acrylic it's that's interesting Cause you've got the little you've got the cotton feel you know what i mean now, cotton it, feel do you think that would feel good against the skin oh absolutely i i can oh yes <laughs> well she just asked she asked i had to test it a lot a lot of people <laughs> test it that way and i one thing i hate is to try to explain to somebody whether i think the yarn is soft or not because everybody has a different a different this, aspect of what soft should feel like and I'm I'm always afraid to say I think it feels soft because it might not be soft let me feel this this it's is been a while you can since. tell that's cotton though it's a cotton it is and I it's not a silky soft cotton it's but not it's a baby not soft. bad it, it's no. yeah yeah it's not bad so go ahead I'm sorry I interrupted you what I did say 52 percent cotton 48 percent acrylic tested and approved it's been tested and approved against 350 harmful substances. So if you have allergies or sometimes you buy yarn, and I even have this problem. Sometimes I'll buy a yarn and I'll break out. So when mm. I see that it has been tested and approved, that usually doesn't happen because that, I'll tell you, there's times where my whole arm right here will get red and get a rash and it'll come up and it'll take me like a day to get rid of it. Wow. But not with any yarns that have been tested and that's why I like seeing that on a label. So the what, color is 208203. It's called Cherry's Jubilee. And, what? and it's lot number 8667. Now, be sure to buy enough of the same dye lot when you complete your project. I okay. didn't know that. Well, some yarns have dye lots, some do not. If it specifically oh. says that, then it's very important to get the same dye lot. It's a bulky number five. And it is machine wash warm, gentle cycle, lay flat to dry. Now, I usually stay away from wash, lay flat to dry yarns, but let me show you what this yarn looks like, and this is why I bought it. Now, the pattern I'm about to show you, Laurie, can you reach this up? Your arms are longer than me. Get that up to the so camera. So are my legs. <laughs> She's the tall, skinny one. I'm the short and plump. But that is the pattern, and I know I have a terrible time with my lighting, and I'm so sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and, Laurie, I forgot about this other light. I'm going to turn it on. Uh, go ahead. They see that. Go ahead and pull it back. Tell them a little bit. It's a knit pattern. I'm just going to move that light down a little bit. See if that it's helps. a vertical lace cardi. 
card is that just card it's again? called a cardi cardi okay and it comes in sizes extra small small medium large 1x 2x 3x 4x and even 5x the only thing wrong with this pattern is it's knit and i don't knit i fell in love with this sweater isn't that gorgeous so you can figure out Look. how to make crochet it yeah, I wish they would come out with a crochet pattern, but I bought the yarn because I thought, in my spare time, I have to make a sweater with that yarn. That, I, it is pretty. I, yeah, I just love it's the way it pretty. looks. But if you knit, and if you crochet, there is many, many free patterns on Premier Yarn's website. And usually when you look at a certain yarn and you scroll down underneath the yarn, they have patterns that's made with that yarn and it can really show you what the yarn looks like worked up and I get a lot of inspiration mm -hmm. from seeing that because this inspired me I just fell in love yeah, with that yeah because you see you see the you see the pattern worked up <laughs> yeah because when you look at this yarn you're like okay what's it gonna look like when it's done well there now you see what the pattern well, is just seeing this that would be pretty as a blanket too oh yes yeah and I just like I said after seeing it worked up that does not appeal to me as much as seeing it worked up in this sweater so again, the Vertical Lace Cardi is a knit pattern, and it's a free pattern on Premier's website. Just type this in the search box, and that pattern will come right up if you want to make that sweater. So very happy with that yarn. So you want to grab something else in the box? <laughs> up, more of the same. Same thing. I'm a big woman. I need lots of that yarn to make a sweater. <laughs> I did oh. peek. Another I one. <laughs> okay. So you definitely have enough to make a sweater now. Well, I don't know. It, let me look on this sheet. I'm going by the knit pattern. You need 7, 8, 9, 10, or 11 balls, and I only ordered 9. So I'm going to need to order 3 more if I want to make a sweater. Well, wait a minute. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, this, this is big. Oh. oh, this is a big pack. Now, this is another one of Premier's yarns that is one of my favorites. It's the Premier Puzzle. This is the original puzzle, not the Premier Puzzle Cotton, but the original Premier Puzzle yarn. So I'm going to let my sister go ahead and tell you about the Premier Puzzle yarn, which most of you already know about it. Now, did but, you witness what I did there? Yes, you I ripped hoped. that bag. <laughs> I'll stick it back in and just keep it in the bag anyhow. Okay, this is Premier Puzzle. Oh, this is pretty. Now, this is softer. This is more uh, fuzzy. Cozy. Cozy. <laughs> Cozy is the word. Okay, I said fuzzy. It does have a little more fuzziness to it. It's got blues and browns. This is my color right here. I love blues and browns together. It's a dark brown and a tan. Dark brown, a tan, a light blue, and a little bit darker blue. Gorgeous. Yep. And they have it made up as an Afghan Yep. On, on here. On the label, they have okay. a picture of a pattern. It is 328 yards, 300 millimeter, 7 no, ounce. It's 300 meters. Meters. <laughs> Why do I want to say millimeters? I don't know. <laughs> okay. 300 meters, 7 ounce, 200 gram, 100% acrylic. And it says that it is jigsaw color. Give them the color and, number. Oh, the color number is. One zero five zero zero two, machine wash, cold tumble dry. So this is a tumble dry. You don't have to lay this flat. Right. So it's nice when you can find those machine wash tumble dry yarns. And it's number five, bulky. And again, it's been tested and approved against three hundred and fifty harmful substances. The yarn that she has has a photograph of an afghan. And I didn't realize that photo was on the label, but I did find the same pattern on Premier's website. Now, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Majovi, Afghan, I, it might not be pronounced that way. But if you look that pattern up on Premier's website, that is a free pattern. So this yarn right here is going to work up and look like this if you make this Afghan. Isn't that beautiful? I just thought that was so pretty. And it's deceiving because when you look at the yarn, you're not quite seeing all those colors that's in this pattern. But as soon as I seen that, I just fell in love with it. So let me, it says it takes 
three skeins of the jigsaw yarn to make this afghan. So that's not bad. But the afghan only measures 37 by 46 inches. Now, to me, I would want that's it. That's almost uh, like a lapgan. I, I would want it. I would want it bigger. So I would buy more yarn and make that bigger. Oh, oh this is a knit pattern. I thought that was crocheted. Oh, I should have looked closer. I'm sorry. It's a knit. It's a knit pattern. We're not going to fire you. So great for all the knitters, sad for us crocheters. So that's two patterns I fell in love with in their book. Yeah, but knit. is it really going to look that much? Look at the color pattern. Is it going to look that much different crochet? You'll still have kind of the same pattern, won't you? The color pattern? Well, it depends. I mean, you would be surprised at how different a yarn can look depending on the okay. stitch pattern you're using. Now, if I used the, the Tunisian knit stitch, I could make that look the same. Is that but, stitch hard? Oh, no. That's very easy. So I could learn how to do that. Oh, I don't I, even. I, I don't. I do don't that. even want to hear you tell that. me. She'll never make anything. She doesn't have the time. She's always on the run. I'm always doing kitties and doggies. So you want to grab another yarn out of the box? I didn't order that much different yarn. Okay, I ordered some Premier Basic in the white because I'm almost out, and I I use a lot of white in my Stitch of the Week. Uh, samples and I always make three different samples maybe a self striping maybe white and a multicolor so I always like to get the white so let me go ahead and review go ahead and put that up there it's gonna block me sorry so go ahead and tell them about the Premier Basics you're most of you already know about Premier Basics because I use it all the time Premier Basic it is a number four medium worsted weight yarn. Worsted. I never worsted. saw that word before. Worsted. It's a worsted. yarn term. <laughs> oh. It's 359 yards, 328 meter, <laughs> 7 ounce, 200 gram, 100% acrylic, tested and approved. Now, what do you think of the feel of the yarn? Um, it's not fluffy. It's not, or not, what did you use? What term? Cozy. Cozy. <laughs> it's not cozy. It's just plain... Yarn. Now, to me, it's softer than some acrylics, but it still has that acrylic feel. It's not a silky, super soft yeah. yarn. It's machine. Well, machine wash, warm, tumble dry, tested and approved against the 350 harmful substances. So um, it is another one of those wash and dryable yarns, and boy, do they have many colors available. And I believe this yarn, I was going to, is there a packing slip in there? I forgot to tell them the prices of this yarn. I believe this yarn is $3.79 for a 7 ounce No stand. packing slip. No packing slip. Nope. All right, then I don't know what the price of these other ones were because I was going to print that out and then we got busy and I forgot to print that out. So go ahead and let me There's show. There's another white. Now this is the Cotton Fair Balky because I was trying to figure out if I wanted to put white. Oh, that's the same as the Yeah, the it's pink. the same as the pink. And the I was white. looking at this sweater and see how the white just kind of like pokes out through that pink. So I ordered the white because usually when I order a multicolor, I always order white. I, I just order it just in case I want to trim something. White just seems to be the perfect color. But now since I'm looking at that yarn, that doesn't look white. That looks more tan. What so, does this? Yeah, I'm not. This is more tan. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not really. It's not even tan. Oh, yeah, there's, 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 is that white? There's a little bit of oh, white Oh, just there. a little, but, but not, yeah, not I don't, white, I, white. It's I, not white, white. Yeah, I don't think the white will I don't think the white will go with this, but it's deceiving until you make up what you want to make up. But I do encourage anyone who buys multicolors to pair it up with a solid color. And even if you order a solid color and you don't use it with that multicolor, you can use it for something else. But I find that when I use a multicolor, I always like to pair it with a solid color. So that's why I ordered in the white. So go ahead and reach in the box and grab another yarn. I think I only have uh, one. We already had this one. There's three oh. more. Yeah, because I want to make an afghan. I so just now you was... have enough for your afghan. Yeah. I'll just put that back in the box for now. Well, there should be one. I think there's just one more different yarn. Oh, no, there's... I forgot I ordered that. This is the same as the multicolor. And because I was trying to figure out what 
solid color would look best. Go ahead and hold all three of them up at the same time. How many, how many arms stack do you think them, I have? Stack Holy them moly. Up. Here, go like this. <laughs> so I was oh. trying to figure out what color I thought would look best with that multi-color. And I'm not... I'm I not, don't like the white. Well, I'm trying to see... That pink doesn't even look like it's nope. the same the color. the pink doesn't even look good. The pink doesn't no. seem to match. So nope. you'll have to use those for other projects. Well, I'll just have to play around with it. That's oh, the fun well, of ordering Well, you have yarn. time to do that. Oh, darn. I might have to order another color. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we got to see what's still in the box. I think we have one more. Yeah, that's the one I was waiting for. <laughs> So the next yarn is another one of my favorite Premier yarns, and I'll tell you, Premier is one of the yarn companies that have such a variety of yarn that they always have something that inspires me. And I was on there, and they have two different colorways of blue, and I, I don't have my computer up here, but they had two different colored blues. What color is that one? This one, I think, is a little bit darker than the other one. It's Bedtime Story. Bedtime Story. So when you're on Premier's website and you look at this petite yarn, one is a little bit lighter and one's a little bit darker, but they look so similar. I was sitting there clicking back and forth, back and forth, trying to decide which one to order. Beautiful shades of blue with is that a white, white, it's or an creamy? Off white? Like it's a, a, creamy a creamy white. Like a creamy white. Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? Go ahead and, and read here, the information. There it shows it kind of done up. Yeah. Okay, so it is a premier anti pilling. Yep. <laughs> it's a DK, DK colors. Yep. And batik. Batik. It's 383 yards, 350 meter, 5 ounce, 140 gram. It is, again, Bedtime Story. The color number is 205306. It's tested and approved against 350 harmful substances. Yeah, it's a number three lightweight yarn. It's machine wash, warm, tumble dry. And we love those machine wash and tumble dry yarns. So this yarn, I would say, is perfect, especially for baby afghans, baby sweaters, anything that you want, a lightweight yarn that is soft and delicate feeling, perfect for this baby. This is definitely soft and delicate, very delicate. And for shawls, it's gorgeous for a shawl. Go ahead and show them what that looks like worked up again. And this is what I like on the labels. Even though these samples are knit on the labels, it still gives you an idea of what some of these colorways look like worked up. And you have to remember, if you're working on maybe a baby blanket, those stripes won't be so wide. They're going to be a little bit thinner, so it'll blend even more. But I just thought this colorway here was gorgeous. On Premier's website, they have many beautiful colorways in this uh, DK Colors uh, Batik yarn. And I ordered one of the colors, and I don't have it up here. I'm in the process of moving some of my yarn around. But it has pink, white, blue, and purple. And I found a pattern for that yarn. It's the unicorn color is the color. And it's color 2053-04. And you need four skeins of yarn to make this blanket. It's a baby blanket. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, my arms are short. <laughs> so there's the pattern. So the blanket is 35 inches long by 33 and a half inches so it's a nice size so four cakes of yarn to make that baby blanket but i just thought it was such a beautiful colorway and what did you think of my yarn order we're not done what do you mean we're not done there's one more oh i forgot you thought i was pulling your leg didn't you i was thinking i ordered the white for my yarn swatch well, you know everybody likes to start that Christmas in July. And it's I, funny you say that. Since I saw this yarn, I thought, this is Christmas yarn. <laughs> that's funny you said that. <laughs> so that's why I ordered the white. But I use it for both. But I ordered the white and the multicolor. So you can see they look good together. And then I do have red and green here in my studio that I can use. But I thought, I'm going to order some in. 
see if I can start designing some of those Christmas patterns for Christmas in July. So go ahead and tell them. It's the same as the Premier Basics, only the multicolors have a little bit less yardage. So go ahead and tell them the information. It is a four medium worsted weight yarn, and this is called the Premier Basics Multi. And it's 245 yards, 224 meter, five ounce, 140 gram, 100% acrylic, tested and approved against 350 harmful substances, Machine wash, warm, tumble, dry. And that is why I love the Premier Basics so much. Now, it's two ounces less, but that's the norm when you're buying multi-colors and some of these specialty yarns. You get a little less yardage and ounces in the skein because of them being more like a specialty yarn. Solid colors, you usually always get more yarn. And this color is called Mary. M-E-R-R-Y. Oh. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm. It's funny, so, when I was pulling that out, because I saw the colors and you said Christmas, I thought, whoa. <laughs> well, you know, some people, if they make handmade gifts for a lot of people, okay. you know, you got to start early in order to get all your handcraft goods made, made to give yeah. as gifts. And Everyone loves to get afghans. I love afghans. I have so many afghans. I I sold some, but I still have my favorites that they're getting so ragged, and I know I should remake them because I love them so much, and I just like the bright colors. But that is my premiere order for today, and I'll put special links in the description box underneath the video to every yarn I showed you. But please remember all these patterns I showed you, the Afghan pattern, this gorgeous sweater pattern. My hat's off to the designer. I just I just thought that was the most beautiful that is sweater. Pretty. Yeah, I just love that. So you can see all the many patterns on Premier's website. And remember, sometimes it's easier when you click on a yarn to just click on a yarn you think you might like and then scroll down underneath on the page and then it shows you the patterns that are made with that yarn instead of searching at the top under patterns. But you can do it both ways. But they have an excellent website. They have clearance sales, weekly sales, all kinds of sales. Always check them out. See where you can save the most money. And if you live in the United States, if you place an order over $75, you get free shipping. So I take advantage wow. of that. That's why I wait until I can order $75 worth of yarn so I get free shipping. Because then all my money goes towards yarn. That's what I do with Chewy. My cat food. Yeah, I, I, I wait till I get. I can order enough so I can get free shipping. And I love ordering from Chewy because you go to the grocery store and you gotta get all these cans of food, put them in your cart. You take them from your cart to the register, and then you have these bags. You put them in your car. I feel bad for your and I just. Man. Oh, I do too. I do too. You don't want to know what one of those boxes weigh. I treat him good though. I give him a bottle of water. When he comes, I give him cookies, I give him candy, <laughs> I, I treat him good. He likes coming to my house. Yeah, but some of that stuff weighs a ton. I bet so. the box I recently got was easy, 50 pounds. Now, I do not buy my cat litter from Chewy, though. I, I will not do that to my delivery person. Yeah, because that's... I so, won't. That yeah. That's way too heavy. I mean, but the cans of cat food, the, you know, because yeah. I order cases of the canned cat food. And uh, I, the recent box I just got, I can't even pick it up and carry it into my house. I've got to open it and carry them in case by case. My daughter started ordering from Chewy. Wonderful, so, uh, wonderful. If, you don't, if you're not familiar with Chewy, check it out. Yeah, it's animal food, right? Animal yeah. products. Animal, animal dog food, cat, any, any animal food, uh, toys, treats. You can I, I get just, litter and stuff from them. It, check it out. Check out Chewy. So that was our advertisement for Chewy. Yeah. <laughs> now we are not affiliated with Chewy.com. I don't, how do we get on that subject anyhow? But. I don't know. <laughs> but anyhow, that is our video for today. I want to thank my sister for staying long enough to help me get this video done. I was really excited about this yarn order. I just, I am so excited about these yarns I picked. And that is the fun of crocheting is when you find a yarn that you just can't cannot wait to pick up your hook and get started and that's how i feel today with that, that, that yarn. Was, yeah there was some neat yarn there i even yeah. i might even start another project <laughs> if i had time <laughs>
I, I will make you start a small project, a washcloth. Uh, I was going to say, you, I was going to say a, a dishcloth. Yeah, and that, I'll, that I'll make you sit that. here and do so many rows until you get that thing done, and everybody can see that you accomplished a project. <laughs> Well, I but might, I might. Someday fold she'll someday. slow down, but the animals are more important right now. So, mm -hmm. thank you everybody for stopping by today, spending a little bit of time with my sister and I. I hope this video has got you inspired. And until next time, happy crocheting. Happy crocheting. Bye. Please spay and neuter. <laughs>